स्टोरेज प्लेसेस किचन लेआउट ड्राई बालकनी दीज आल आर टू बी थर्टफुली डिजाइन डोर आर वन ऑफ दोज वेरी इन विजिबल पीसेज ऑफ फर्नीचर विच आर देयर बट यू डोंट पे दैट मच अटेंशन टू इट घर गठनशैल केवल धुनिया हम जथेष ना बासिंदा घर तो उपयोगी हवा उचित जीत घर इंटेरियर कथा मन रखा है जो घर तो लाइटिंग फिटिंग फिक्सचार्स और फार्णिचार आदि ठाईर हिसाब सको एक बारे फिट हो पड़े जार फल घर तो उपयोगता बढ़े और तक थकामदायक पड़े सबातक भल घर हल जी तो तक बस कर लोकर चिंताधारा जीवनशैल निर्दिष्ट एलेका और बतर आदिर प्रति मन कान दी सजा है अपना सपोन घर तो वास्तव रूप दी आपनारा लिशो निउ भोको प्रेजेन्ट्स घर सजक निजर अज एटीन इनिशिएटिव आज एक एपिशोड कथा पातीम इंटेरियर्स और यार सहित जड़ित दिशबूर विषय Designing a home can be overwhelming, and people don't even know where to start from. But I think it's important to work together as a family and think about what are the things that is important to you. Think about what makes you come alive, what makes you calm down, and integrate some of those things within the design of your home. It may be very hard to communicate. To design professionals, what kind of design aesthetic and style you like. as a family so it may be a good exercise to just create a vision board of your favorite places whether it's a restaurant or a hotel that you stayed in or a museum that you went to but keep it simple you know this is your day to day life so look at you know materials that you like the colors that make you feel come alive think about where the plant is important for you for designing a primary home is very important to understand it's a two way process where the client has to come with a certain set of information he should be able to create a brief for the architect for the designer so it becomes easier for them to understand exactly what he wants a brief would generally sort of comprise about simple areas where you have uh, the area of your plot of the land uh, how many rooms he wants to make how much he wants to spend what style he wants to design the house also how much time he wants to finish the project in all of these become very important factors in how a designer would approach the project apunar sapunor ghor tor duar bore otikoi guruttopurno bhumika palon kore lagile sheikhon apunar kotha tor duarei hok othoba mukkha duar khonei hok protikhon duarei apunaloi nirjonota aru surakha pradan kore apunar ghor tor gathoni onujayi kene dhoronor duar bhal aru tar babe samagrit bikolpo ki ki यूर कथा जना तो अतिशय प्रयोजन डोर्स आर रियलि इम्पर्टेन्ट इन टर्म्स अफ इंटेरियर डिजाइनिंग इट गिवस अ सिक्योरिटी एंड प्रिवेसि इनिशियलि पीपल नेवर यूज टू बॉर्डर अबाउट डोर्स एंड डिन पे मच एटेंशन बट नाउ इट इज इट्स प्लेइंग अ वेरी इम्पर्टेन्ट की रोल वाइल डिजाइनिंग अ स्पेस आई एम गिविंग एक्जाम्पल अफ ट्राइबल हाउस अफ नर्थ इस्ट So this is the layout. So in old days, the din used to have doors in the rooms. So maybe this is the room of the parent and the son and daughter. So you can't see any privacy here. But nowadays, following the same layout, like continuing the culture, they have incorporated doors over here. So which is giving them a kind of privacy. one can use wooden door aluminum door upvc door or door with plywood so it completely depends on the client someone wants to have doors with hand carving and all very integrated work then one can go for the wooden doors one is factory made one can use the upvc or the aluminum doors so it completely depends on the budget and the requirement of the client aluminum doors can be used in washroom like where there is water as well as upvc can be used in washrooms so we usually don't prefer wooden doors 
and ply doors where there is excessive use of water. Doors are one of those very invisible pieces of furniture which are there but uh, you don't pay that much attention to it. But we tend to interact with them uh, every day multiple times. Generally when you're selecting doors it's just sort of important to understand uh, what is your interior style. The material does not make a major difference unless you're doing a very commercial project where you need to save budgets and you get these prefabricated doors in the market where you can just quickly purchase them and install them. Else if you're building your home, it's okay to sort of spend a little on your doors because you're going to be interacting with that one piece of furniture on a daily basis. You're going to be opening it, shutting it every day. Choosing the hardware is very important. Take good long lasting hardware that makes you feel nice when you sort of operate it every day. Apunar ghartor saad aru yaar bear bore hole interior designing or eta guru tapur nanti. Fault ceiling apunak zee dhornor lage hea agotei thirang kori lwa osit. Jate structural designer e hea hisapot column aru beam lagabo pare. Bear bore manu hai ajikali bibhinno dhornare khajai. The structural engineer when designing the uh, overall structure will also look at how the ceiling is going to look from the room below. It is very important he will place his beams etc adequately so that they do not become part of the room. They do not come in between the rooms as it would positively affect the aesthetics of the whole room. Normally uh, it has become a trend nowadays to have lesser and lesser heights for the buildings but that leads to inadequate depth uh, for the upper floor beams. We have to remember that the size of the beam is directly proportional and totally dependent upon the load and also the span of the beam. If you are going for column three spaces and the spans of your beams are higher, then it is not desirable to have these flat beams. Because we have to remember that whatever happens, there are going to be deflections in the structure. I have a beam like this and when it is fully loaded or all the necessary loads like the flooring, uh, the brickwork come on, it is going to deflect like this. So there is going to be uh, a level difference between the center of the beam and edge of the beam. So this would also affect the serviceability of your overall structure. If you have large span beams and this deflection is say more than 20 mm, then you will find that your flooring is breaking. So we have to ensure that there is a bare minimum deflection standards which should be maintained. So your beam sizing and your column free spaces should be modeled as per these standards. Uh, when it comes to walls for your project, it's very important to know that a simple wall is constructed either out of brick or block or it's maybe a concrete wall that's there in your apartment. You can generally just plaster it and paint it and that sort of solves majority of the finish of your wall. A lot of people prefer to do cladding on the wall when it comes with materials like veneer or laminate. Some people want to put marble on their walls or they want to use tiles on their walls. And one of the ways where uh, this process can be made a little bit easier or more time efficient is by doing prefabricated wall panels. If you've ever been to a good hotel, maybe a four star or a five star, and you see the walls are in wood, that's probably click and fit wall paneling that's been factory made and directly installed. You have a lot of companies designing wall panels which have complex designs. They are a little bit longer lasting than traditional paints because the materials used to make these panels have certain coatings on them and are a little bit more scratch resistant, a little bit more hardy to abrasion and that's what makes them a little bit more long lasting. So wall paneling becomes a great option if you want to explore little exotic finishes for your walls versus traditional painting. Your sofa will be behind the wall or then your bed will be behind the wall. Whenever you want to highlight it, we usually prefer wall paneling. We have done paneling with wood or ply with laminates or stones or with tiles. And we can use lights to highlight the corners and all. So there are different options to do wall paneling. If you want to go for French style, you can even use POP and gypsum. If you want to work in strips, then you can go for wood and ply, or you can cut these laminates and paste it on top of the ply to make it cost effective. Otherwise, there are options like Italian marbles, and there is also onyx stone. Onyx stones are like available in different colors. 
अगर आपको अपना स्पेस अच्छा दिखना है देन यू कैन यूज द ऑनिक्स स्टोन ओवर देयर घर तो डिजाइन कर समय अपनी किसान कथा जने धरक अपना जीवन शैली और दैनन्दिन जीवन कथा मन रखा अतव प्रयोजन अपना किटेन स्टोरेजर ठाई और बेलकन उपयोगता यार ऊपर निर्भर कर स्टोरेज प्लेसेस देन किचन लेआउट ड्राई बालकनी एडजस्टेंट टू किचन दिस ऑल आर टू बी थॉटफुली डिजाइन देयर शुड बी अ मिनिमल फ्लो ऑफ द लेडी हु इज इन द किचन बेस्ट डिजाइन इज टू बी एडॉप्टेड फॉर ऑल दिस थिंग्स इफ यू जस्ट स्टडी द एवोल्यूशन ऑफ एन इंडियन किचन इट यूज्ड टू बी फर्स्ट कॉल्ड लाइक अ गुसल खाना व्हिच वाज आउटसाइड द हाउस एंड स्लोली एज आवर लाइफस्टाइल्स चेंज्ड द किचन स्लोली स्टार्टेड बिकमिंग पार्ट ऑफ आवर ओन हाउस इट स्टार्टेड टू मूव इनसाइड एज यू स्टार्टेड to shift to more urban styles of living the modular kitchen came into place because apartment sizes were small they were limited and you needed things to sort of slot right in the basic fundamental aspect of a kitchen you need to understand is how is a person going to use it how you going to cook with it and the key difference between a traditional kitchen and a modular kitchen is just the style of construction modular kitchens are generally factory made they are pre ordered all sizes are taken by a contractor it's completely factory made and installed at the end of the project it's usually a very easy way to do a very dust free uh, implementation of a kitchen it's very quick you save time you get a lot of options in modular kitchens in terms of drawer trays in terms of storage units which can be factory made and then installed at your site A regular kitchen traditionally is where the designer makes a plan or a drawing for the kitchen and then the project contractor executes it based on the choice of your materials. People usually think that modular kitchens are better, but we can add a personal touch in the normal kitchen. We can customize it according to the client's requirement and client's choice. So modular kitchen mein kya hota hai? Aap saman leke aaye wahan pe fix kar diya module karke. बट इन द नॉर्मल किचन क्लाइंट को जैसा चाहिए जो चाहिए उसको प्रॉपरली डिजाइन करके वी कैन जस्ट फिक्स इट ओवर देयर सो नॉर्मल किचन गिव्स अ फ्लेक्सिबिलिटी टू डिजाइन अ किचन फॉर अ क्लाइंट सो चूज अ टाइप ऑफ किचन दैट मीट्स योर नीड्स घर तो पोहर बा लाइटिंग और एटा विशेष धरनर गुरुत्व থাকে আপনি দিনটোর অধিকাংশ সময় ঘরৰ ভিতৰতেই কথাবলগীয়া হয় আৰু এই কাৰণে घर एट लाइटिंग के उचित और के प्रकार लाइट्स व्यवहार कौनखा उचित एक कथा जना तो अत्यंत प्रयोजन I think lighting is one of the most important aspects of interior design. We spend maybe about 70% of our time in artificial lighting. So, uh lighting has to be designed exactly how it suits your lifestyle. You know, if you like to sort of relax when you're home, it has to have softer tones. These are one of the elements that we sort of factor in when we are designing lighting for the house based on lifestyle. Some people like to approach ambient lighting through a mixture of decorative chandeliers decorative lighting installations along with technical lighting which sort of becomes like your spotlights your led panels a lot of these fixtures are dimmable you can adjust the light intensities so the same fitting can give you flexibility these days whether you want to use it for soft ambient lighting or for a functional light So combining natural light with artificial lighting is very important. It's also a good way to save electricity in the daytime where if you're in a well lit space, you don't need too much of artificial lighting for most of your day. Etia loke ami kotha patilu apunar hopunor ghor tur duar, kitchen, fall ceiling aru lighting or bikhoy. Birotir pisot janiboloi lom aru kisuman kotha jibonor sambandho ase interior designing or hoyte. अपनारपनर घर तो भर भाग सुंदर और उपयोगी तलार विषय आपुनी निश्चय जथेष कथा जानिले इतना कथा आपनर घर तो मजिया अर्थात फ्लोरिंग डिजाइनिंग समय यार गुरुत और सठिक मेटेरियल बाचनिये घर तो मजबूत कर When it comes to flooring, I think designers and clients are little spoiled for choice. 
As architects, sometimes we spend the maximum time discussing with clients what flooring should be implemented. I think clients, when you're building your houses, you'll have a lot of options in tiles. Indian stones are something which are very overlooked. You have a lot of selections in budget-friendly Indian stones which are long-lasting and can uh, give a beautiful look to the house. When it comes to marble, which is also a type of stone, uh, the variety is extensive. You have options ranging from Indian and local marbles all the way to imported marbles. It's always uh, great to have budget-friendly options if you want to explore budget-friendly options. Go for stones which are locally available in your city or in your area. And that would reduce the cost of transport. It would have a little bit of natural character of what the region provides you from stones. To give you an example, uh, Hyderabad has a lot of lovely granites which are locally mined. And a lot of these granites are actually uh, exported abroad where they are sold as exotic stones. Marble is in high demand in northeastern part of India. But whenever clients ask me they should go for marble or not, I usually don't like encourage them, them with marble. Although it is it looks really good when you use marble. But I think in the in northeastern part of India, tiles are better if I compare both the materials. Because marble kya hota hai, wo thanda rehta hai. So northeast is like humid. So whenever you use marble, wahan pe aapko health issues bahut ja zyada ho jata hai. So marble is something should be used in hot climate instead of humid climate. So I'll suggest to use marble in area like Rajasthan, Gujarat and maybe tiles in the humid areas. Jitiya kotha pata hoi gharar pratekto suk konar, tetiya aami bathroom or kotha pahari bonuaro. Jwa kebos or manat bathroom or designs aru reh rupar jathesto bikaak kotil. Janu ahok ene kino upaya se, जार द्वारा आपुनी आपनार बाथरूम तो आनात कोई बेलेग अरु आकर खनियो कोरी तो लिबो पारीबो There are different trends while designing a bathroom or washroom Mostly my clients initially they ask me for like contemporary or modern design But while introducing them to some European style they also go for that So if I talk about the modern design they are like straight clean lines and very minimal and very subtle color. While in European style, you will find niches and carving and some wall paneling. You can use pattern on the walls and you can play with colors. If you want a very bold designing, like vibrant colors and textures and carving, then you can go for the European style. And if you want a subtle one and very simple one, which is soothing to eyes, then you can go for the modern or contemporary one. घर तो डिजाइन कर समय बजेटर प्रति विशेष मनोज दी कारण मन रख इंटेरियर्स हल एने शान जो अपना घर सजार खरच अपना पसंद अनुजाई एक बार भिन्न हो पे और बजेट जथेष बेसि पे वाइल सिलेक्टिंग फिक्सार्स एंड फिटिंग फर योर हाउस जस्ट सी थ्री बेसिक की पॉइंट इफ द प्रडक्ट आर ड्यूरेबल इफ द कम्पनी यू आर चूजिंग इज प्रमिशिंग and obviously the cost effectiveness of the product from the estimate at least 20% of your budget should be used in interior designing to get a space functionally usable aesthetically beautiful and just to feel like a home looking at a 500 square foot uh, project apartment in noida and you want to sort of apply tiles on it you have tiles ranging all the way from 75 rupees a square foot to 300 rupees plus a square foot you have very good quality indian tiles uh, which are manufactured here locally which are more affordable and these days vitrified tiles give you all variety of finishes if you want to apply an expensive marble but you don't have the budget for it you can buy a tile equivalent of it and i think that's where tiles become very important in the industry where they can offer flexibility of flooring in budget friendly options when it comes to marble you have a lot of local marbles and imported marbles i always advocate that indian marbles have their own character and charm and uh, they are usually a great option to sort of use when you don't have a lot of money to spend otherwise when it comes to exotic marbles uh, sky is the limit you get marbles 
from all over the world mostly available in your local cities or people tend to come to the metros purchase marble and then ship it to their tier 2 city where they want to implement it if you really want to be sustainable you have to pay attention to the local architectural traditions as well as the local materials if you build with local stones or bricks or roofing materials those really reduce the heat within the building so if i talk about sustainability there is a product called bamboo wood one can use bamboo wood instead of wood in their house so bamboo wood can be used for doors tables for furnitures for ceiling flooring and bamboo is a grass which is fast growing and it is saving lot of trees in last 3 years so here are the advantages of using bamboo wood it has high tensile strength because of the long fibers it is durable it is termite proof and it lives up to 100 years and the best part is you can use the bamboo wood in internal and external part of the building vastu eta prachin bharatiya pratha jar prathomik uddeshya hol design conceptor dwara kono ek sthanor shakti byabohar kara ahok janilao vastur sahay loi kaam korar labh ki ki Vastu is really important while designing a house. So usually the key points of Vastu is written on books so we usually follow that. Let me give you an example. So if this is my house this is the north and east So according to the vastu the staircase should be towards the west of the house or towards the south most preferably west why it is in the western side of the house not in the eastern or northern let me explain so if we see the sun path diagram the summer sun it goes from northern side of the house and the winter sun is from the southern side so the morning sunlight is really important to us so if we construct a staircase over the eastern part of the house it will just block the morning sun rays so that's why according to the vastu and scientifically the staircase should be towards the western side of the house jaisa humko pata hai jo sham ka sun rays hota hai that is not healthy so it just block it and give you a perfect space So speak to your designer and get the correct choice for your home. Ajon khadharan manu hor babe nijor hapun aur ghar to khaji adu khar khurukhi to sthan aur khandhan korato bahu khoti ka jora iti puroni pratha hoye aise. Ami etia a bikhe karjo kramor antim store tahi uponi to hoy suhi jod bheti tour pada loi ghar loi pravesh kora loi ke hampurno tarthe pati ami apna loi ag pada lo. Ami akhara kisu apuni apnaar hapun aur ghar to jitiya khaji bo tetia amar ei pada morkho aru tarthe pati. अपना निश्चय कम